CES 2024 will be epic. Samsung's new version of its personal companion robot promises to steal the show. Or will it be a new group of robot electric cars? Which companies contributed the most? How have humanoid robots evolved at CES? Before Elon Musk and Tesla took over, who were the real pioneers of electric cars? Let's take a stroll down memory lane. Hit that like button, drop a comment, and make sure to subscribe. Let's get this conversation buzzing. 1967, the birth of CES in the Big Apple. Rising from the ashes of the Chicago Music Show, with 17,500 attendees, 200 tech wizards showcased pocket radios and TVs with integrated circuits. It was like the Woodstock of gadgets. Fast forward to 1970, where Philips rolled in with the N1500 video cassette recorder, the OG Netflix and chill device. Before that, VCRs were like unicorns, costing a staggering $50,000, but Philips dropped it at just $900, making it rain entertainment for the masses. And in 1976, CES turned into a tech carnival with separate conferences for everything, video, audio, CB radios, and even calculators and watches. It was like Comic-Con but for gadgets. A year later, Atari brought the party with VCS, marking the start of the gaming revolution. Can you guess what sparked the PlayStation era? Before we hit start, drop a like, share your thoughts in the comments, and hit subscribe to keep leveling up. Fast forward to the 80s, the era of shoulder pads and neon. In 1981, Philips and Sony dropped the mic with the CD player. No more rewinding tapes. Just pop in that shiny disc and let the tunes roll. 85 brought Nintendo's Nintendo Entertainment System to the stage, changing the gaming game forever. Mario entered, and we never looked back. Jump to the 90s where partnerships crumbled and console wars erupted. Sony and Nintendo went from BFFs to frenemies, and Sega, TurboGrafx-16, and Neo Geo joined the battle. 92 had Street Fighter 2 on the SNES, making us button mash our way to glory. Apple even slid in with the Newton message pad, the OG iPad's quirky cousin. These days we barely remember DVDs, but does anyone remember DIVX? Will electric cars be the DIVX of CES 2040? Stay up! When 94 rolled in, AT&T teased us with the 3DO, kicking off the gaming renaissance. But change was in the air. CES went globetrotter in 1995, moving from city to city like a tech rock band. Philadelphia was on the map, but E3 gaming show on the West Coast stole the spotlight, leaving Philly in the dust. The late 90s brought the rise of DVDs with the 98 CES dominated by players for the burgeoning format. It was a DVD frenzy, like Black Friday but for digital discs. DIVX tried to join the party, but let's be real, DVDs were the cool kids in town. In 2001, Microsoft unveiled the Xbox, kicking off a gaming revolution. Fast forward to 2005 where CES had a quirky start with Bill Gates' Xbox 360 demo hiccup. Samsung wowed us with the colossal 102-inch plasma TV. By 2008, Bill Gates dropped the mic at CES, announcing his Microsoft retirement in a star-studded skit. Panasonic stole the show with a mind-blowing 150 inches plasma TV. The late 2000s brought us the rise of OLED TVs, the Palm Pre, and 3D webcams. In 2010, Intel's Infoscape hinted at a minority report future. 2011, the year of the tablet takeover. Motorola Zoom swoops in and snatches the best of show title. But wait, the 3D spectacle begins, massive TVs and Samsung's Plasma 3D HD series whilst the crowd. CES has always accurately previewed the future of transportation, where we finally have a hint of when we will be driving flying cars. Stay tuned for a preview of what's to come this year. Fast forward to 2012, Microsoft's Grand Farewell. They decided to launch their own series of conferences instead of featuring products at an annual event. That same year, Intel gets caught in a scandal where they faked a demo of their Ultra Book by pre-recording it. Fakers. 2013 kicks off with Qualcomm's insane opening, and Sony drops the Xperia Z, a mobile phone that bombs so bad, we don't even remember it. But in 2014, our minds were blown with Li-Fi smartphones and LG's WebOS magic on smart TVs. In 2015, the tech extravaganza reached new heights with 3,600 exhibitors and 170,000 industry attendees. 2016 was all about wireless power for consumer devices from Energis, Osea, and Watricity. To raise a triple screen gaming laptops vanished into thin air. 
despite tight security, in 2017. He is offering a $25,000 reward for any information that can bring the people who did this to justice. And in 2019, another controversy emerged when an innovation award for a female pleasure device was revoked. Vibrations were felt worldwide. But in 2020, CES bounced that ass back with Sony's electric vehicle and Hyundai and Uber's electric flying taxi extravaganza. From pocket radios in 1967 to electric vehicle extravaganza, CES has been our front row ticket to the future. Don't forget to hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe. We are going to be covering the most exciting events and announcements at CES 2024. So make sure to subscribe and don't miss out.